Today, I'm going to be going over your suggestions on how we can fix Rise of Kingdoms. What's going on, guys? Cheers. And now it's no secret that Rise of Kingdoms has a super passionate fan base. We are literally always complaining about a handful of things about this game. No matter what the developers do, there's always something that we are suggesting that they fix suggesting that they change demanding that they implement there, there's a lot okay and so today what i'm gonna do is potentially start a new series here on the channel where we go through the suggestions over in the official rise of kingdoms discord channel i sort of give you guys my two cents on some of these suggestions that you guys are putting forward that i think might actually be good for the game and i think that this could be a nice little signal boost because i feel like a lot of people don't even know that this channel exists they don't even know that it's possible to submit suggestions directly to the developers using discord so there's going to be a link in the description to view the actual suggestion channel in the rise of kingdoms discord and if there's anything that you see in this video or in your own time sifting through that channel make sure you give it a check mark because any suggestion with at least 100 check marks will get at least considered or looked at by the developers shout out really quick shout out to discord user alim or alim them. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but they did reach out to me with a DM over on Discord and they said, hey, this is a, a suggestion that I have. I would love to see if you think it's reasonable. And I thought it was. And we're going to go over that suggestion here in this video. But it gave me the idea of like, wait a minute, there's probably a lot of great suggestions that were missing. And me with this very small platform in the community, maybe I can, you know, boost a couple of the good ones. Who knows? We'll see. Guys, comment down below if you think that this is maybe a good, uh, a good series that we can do and hopefully in some way maybe it can uh, actually make the game a little bit more what we would like to see now really quick before we jump in we did actually hit 20,000 subscribers and I made a post here on the on the channel I posted over on my Instagram about it but I just wanted to address it in a video guys thank you so 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 much it's unbelievable to think that 20% of you guys are subscribed seriously 80% of you guys are unsubscribed which means there's way more of you that are monthly viewers of this channel which uh, it, it blows my mind thank you thank you thank you i really 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 do appreciate it and also my 1000th day in rise of kingdoms video i got so many of the kindest comments i've ever gotten in any single video it, it was it was so i it was overwhelmingly positive i was not expecting that at all anyway without further ado let's take a look at your suggestions to make rise of kingdoms better this specific suggestion from june 30th is one that i have literally been thinking about for months the option to dispatch multiple marches at once like 1000 percent i always think about like especially when i'm going to go out with multiple marches for barbing like i literally just want to click and drag and drop five marches out on the open field all filled with my with my barbarian killers like is that so much to ask you know is that so much to ask we have presets can we have a preset like an army preset i, I just feel like that would be or you just there's a checkbox next to each of your preset uh, armies and you check all of them and then you can drop them on them at the same time i don't know if that would make botting too powerful but I, I don't know i think there's an opportunity here so i really want to see this happen uh give 100 percent of dead troops back after season of conquest i don't think that's a great idea that wouldn't you know what's the what's the point right if everybody gets everything back there's no point more uh we need increase in the vip points per day since you released vip 18 this month that's will be hard for, VI, for free to play okay <laughs> greedy lilith yes I, I get that i know a lot of people have the sediment that lilith is very uh, is a greedy company okay yes i agree with this i do think uh, maybe this last part is a little bit aggressive okay it's a little bit aggressive that's not really the that's not really the way to get what you want around here okay you got to be reasonable when you're asking for an implementation that you want okay so maybe avoid that last part but yes i think the daily vip should be increased um, maybe an increased cap or perhaps one thing that they could do is for every year that you play rise of kingdoms maybe it doubles the daily vip points you get or adds 100 to it or something i don't know they don't do anything for yearly milestones and i think they should and i think maybe that's an opportunity right there add a feature to search for forts takes ages to search for a barb fort which uh unlike nodes for farming is a lot more uncommon so a quick search button would be a fantastic addition especially for players who are in a home kingdom that is 100 a yes i 100 agree with that there are other games you've seen me play infinity kingdom on uh, on this channel before i love infinity kingdom in that game there's not forts but there are gnome bosses and you can search for them and that's a huge quality of life thing i love it i don't know why you can't search for barb forts i don't get it give us an option to claim all the rare alliance chests same as how it is for normal alliance chest or at least claim, claim 10 each option similar as gold key opening yes i agree with this as well and i understand that 
the point of not claiming all for the purchases is that you want to be able to see who's making purchases so you can thank them and i understand that uh but i think it gets to a point where it's like we know who the big spenders in the alliance are after you've been in the alliance for a year so it's like it is what it is give me uh give me an option to to claim all right i think that would be a good quality of i think um add more ways to get books of covenant from events uh like oasis of hope i don't know what this event is but i do think that there should be more ways to get books of covenant i just i feel that way uh, increase the drop rate for forts or, and make it so you can search for forts or something i don't know there's so many new events in this game there's definitely an opportunity to add more overhaul siege units give them a purpose to be played other than farming they are siege units feared throughout the ancient times yeah i totally agree with this one thousand percent yeah i have i I'm not going to spoil it, but I do have a video where I'm going to talk about siege units and uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, it, they're supposed to be like this mega city killer unit and it's like, you still end up rallying cities with the Tila Takeda cavalry, right? So I don't know. It seems kind of silly to me um, that you would just bring like a, a trebuchet to pick up freaking corn on the map. Like what? Why is that the only use for siege units right now? It's ridiculous. Make them so that way maybe they deal more damage to like passes or something like give them a niche role but make them usable in war right now there's literally no use for them in war and i think that's ridiculous improve matchmaking for champions of olympia i think they are probably doing that okay so this is an interesting one it says when you get legendary commanders in the tavern that you already have expertise to make it give you gold heads instead to the same value when you've already expertise sunduk no one wants another five or 50 heads so i agree with this they're never going to do it they're never going to do it. I think there's an opportunity here for a middle ground, um, right? Because there's just, because then gold keys just give you universal heads and like that just breaks the flow of everything. Right. And again, I wish they would do it, but they won't. So I think a more, uh, I think a more reasonable solution would be, you know, if you get heads of a commander that you already expertise, maybe it's converted into legendary tavern keys or something. Right. So if you, you know, if you've maxed Martel and then you you get a summon of martel it converts it into 10 legendary ta uh, 10 legendary tavern keys that you can use in season of conquest i feel like that's reasonable right because you know the, uh, honestly as a free as a low spender or as a medium spender i guess technically i don't think legendary tavern keys are very valuable i i really don't like they're just they're not exciting to me at all uh and so the only way that they would be exciting is if they just suddenly gave me way more of them and that way they're actually useful allow players with max tech to trade in research speed ups in exchange for healing speed ups 1000 percent agree i think there's still an opportunity to add more healing speed ups into the game with ever since they changed the healing update uh they've never really fully given us back the amount of healing speed ups that they that they that we assumed that they would give based on the statement that they made right uh and it's foolish of us for to assume that they would do what the players wanted but anyway um it, you know i think there's a, a huge opportunity to to get rid of building speed ups for for big spenders okay this is another opportunity to change gold chests so basically they're saying remove all special advance and epic commanders from golden key chests they're easy to max through daily sculptures silver chests, and events etc i agree with this i think that you know right now it feels like the game is split into two components right there's pre-season of conquest and then season of conquest like they should add just one more chapter here they should add one more chapter here where once you claim it right it will unlock just like this it will unlock a refresh of the entire home kingdom where it changes the gold keys it changes you know the wheel of fortunes then switch over to pick one and all that stuff because again by that point the garbage Gar garbage all this is garbage so this is something that a couple of people suggested and it says please add a 10 percent infantry skin to season of conquest shop uh yeah this suggestion has come through multiple times and i imagine lilith is probably going to do this eventually but i just feel like i should mention it here to kind of boost the awareness so this one says let us choose a new legendary commander on the expedition shop from the gold keys or introduce a new commander to be purchased in game through expedition shop i've been saying this for literally like over a year at this point they need to replace ethel Flair after she's expertise like there just there just has to be um again you know maybe there's that opportunity where when you hit the season of conquest chapter it flips ethelflaed to something else or gives you to a way to choose which legendary you want from the gold keys in that expedition maybe once every 30 days you know there's a 30 day cooldown on it i think that would be reasonable i don't know call me crazy but please my god give us something to do with the expedition shop man it's been sitting there forever so this one is criticizing the 10 percent march uh capacity and uh, because it's basically going to destroy any form of balance during lost canyon seasons um i agree yeah i agree you're not gonna be able to win in canyon anymore unless you're top 
top VIP, so that's really unfortunate and sort of annoying. Like, it's literally, if you spend enough money, you can be the best at Lost Canyon. That's really what it is now, which kind of sucks. Although, you know, it's always been that way. Let's just be real here for a second. It's always been that way, but now it's like a requirement. So this is an interesting suggestion. It says track stats, such as alliances, troop heal, troops heal during battle, um, or, or number of enemies debuffed. It incentivizes people to use more debuff and support marches instead of just DPS. I agree with this, right? And I, and I, I know that like people already use Joan of Arc and Trajan and all this other stuff in William just because of their support nature, but having a mathematical way to be like, Hey, I didn't get that many kills this KVK because I'm free to play, but look at how much I used my Ethel Flood to, to debuff the enemy, right? Having some way, and I don't know how they would do it, but having some way to track the amount of support you're bringing to the battlefield, I think would be really interesting. This one says add new levels and rewards to the expedition game mode. Yeah, a thousand percent, hundred percent. Again, expedition, it's a whole game mode that they haven't talked about in like over a year. Like like come on man let's give let's do something to it it's sitting there it's waiting for us <laughs> conduct iq test before letting people play champions of olympia <laughs> buff versatility and integration trees i agree i a thousand percent agree those talent trees are useless and i think adding more strategy to them would be uh maybe adding more strategy to some commanders we've forgotten about give us a commander reset scroll this upcoming anniversary please i want to reset khan this would be really awesome if they added you know once a year you got one opportunity to get all of your investment back from one legendary right so every year if you keep playing the game if you played the game all year right you would get the opportunity to have a really valuable item and i just think that would, that that would be awesome i think that would be awesome maybe make it so you can't use it on gold key commanders and the, like barca and minamoto and stuff like that but any other wheel of fortune or mightiest governor commander you know let allow you to reset that i think that would be cool and fair as a yearly one-time thing this guy said add t6 eventually into your plans for future updates and just got downvoted into oblivion everybody's just like what are you talking about literally t5 cost way too much and it takes forever to get there and this guy is looking for t6 man oh this is cool this is a report card to every player at the end of each kvk with the following stats number of troops killed with troop types number of dread dead troops with troop type resources gathered resources assisted honor points barbs killed barb forts killed cities defeated i think this is a great idea um these are the types of stats that people uh and, and organized kingdoms are already tracking and it takes them a long time and tons of effort uh so just having the game keep track of the i mean it's already keeping track of these on the back end right so just like give that give us those stats i think that would be awesome yeah a lot of you guys want more vip points per day and a lot of you have put tons of ways that they could do this and i think lilith needs to like they can't ignore this for much longer right like come on that literally 200 points a day for a thousand days and you're not gonna even hit like vip 14 like it's insane you have to spend tons look here's another one increase daily vip point for to play as choking to earn vip points a thousand percent agree okay so i like some of the things that this person said in their suggestion but the rest of it was worded in a way that lilith will never take them seriously so a tip for you guys if you're going to suggest something to the developer make it like professional like make it an actual suggestion if you come here just to be mad they're not going to take you seriously okay but the part of this suggestion that i do agree with is that even with all the fancy new updates, people keep on migrating back to KBK2, and that's saying something, your new updates are bad, and you should feel bad. Now again, that last part is unnecessary, because that just makes them not want to read it, and I get that you're frustrated, and we all are, but the fact that people keep migrating back to KBK2 is a huge red flag. Like, Lilith needs to, to look at that and be like, oh my god, everything we've done since KBK2 has been worse. But I know a lot of people, myself included, that have migrated back to play KVK2. That's bad for a game. It's bad to have your new content worse than your old content. And it's been this way for a long time. So hopefully this new KVK that's coming out is better. Hopefully it is. But again, Lilith, <laughs> this, is, this is true. You can't ignore it. It's actually true. This says, please add a city hall limit on who can speak in Season of Conquest Lost Kingdom chat. Agree. So here's an interesting suggestion. Allow people to buy skill resets from Alliance Shop. 
Yeah, they put this item in the game and then they've really only trickled it through the cracks. Like we've only gotten a very small amount of these. And I think that having this in abundance would actually uh, really help out some free to play and low spenders reset things like one commanders like Wanyu, right? Where you may have a huge reason to want to continue to reset them until you get the optimal the optimal build that you want uh and that would be awesome if you can get them from a land shop so this is remove bones from the Soroli of rewards it is so annoying to see them especially in hell difficulty actually it should be material choice chests, not randomized materials 90 percent rock has become rng i agree with this i don't see why we would get purple bones from an event like what like that literally it's just it's actually just a waste of time there's no i should not walk away from participating in an event thinking i literally just wasted my time because what i got was actually useless to me like that's so, that's not a reward that's literally not rewarding for the player i literally could have not done it and been in a better position because at least i would have my 15 minutes back right so yeah again bones here stupid don't make it rng based let us just pick man just let us pick something let us pick something jesus christ this one says stop making fake and shit ads after watching over 15 of your ads on youtube i haven't seen a single one that depicts actual gameplay real and true suggestion here let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a second video roasting their ads i think it's i think we're overdue improve the skill lock tree to focus any skill also true they should have done this from the beginning they failed we told them how to do this <laughs> like literally all the content creators were like hey it'd be cool if you could lock whichever skill you wanted and they were like yeah we're not going to do that this says make epic commanders more useful uh and then they go on to say how they're absolute shit blah 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 again I, 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 attacking lilith in these suggestions just makes no sense to me i don't understand why you guys are doing this because they're not going to listen to you if you do that but yes epic commanders are pretty much useless uh right now and the fact that they have added legendaries every two months since three years ago uh and they have implemented epic commanders like twice and they weren't good like come on Lilith. seriously this is the most important one let us send gif let us send gif it's simple it's simple let me send gif bro okay here's the alims and they said introduce dead troops points similar to kill points or allow us to see which troop tier a player has sacrificed i agree with this if you look at a player's deads right and you think that they're a really active player who's losing tons of troops and then you find out like they just ended up suiciding a bunch of t1s like let's just make this more accurate right because then you get a better idea of what players are doing i think this is a good suggestion legitimately and you could see that it has tons of up no, upvotes uh so lilith definitely definitely do this i i think this makes sense this says buff ragnar yeah huge agree huge agree i mean they, they literally did massive marketing campaigns around vikings and then players join the game and they find out ragnar is garbage like it's just it's laughable like they literally could have put ragnar instead of athelflaed made ragnar actually good and then putting him in the game would have been like oh my god look at this beast of a, of a commander that everybody gets and they can use him eventually like that would be so cool but instead he was instantly forgotten and that's just it's a shame it's a waste of marketing material just like make him cool man this guy says add units into the game and make them a tank just the one troop a tank <laughs> honestly that just sounds like one of the ridiculous ads on youtube don't worry dude they're gonna do that one day it's gonna be called tier six and you're gonna hate it okay so i've given my opinion on a lot of things here and i could honestly talk forever about things that i would improve about this but let me just throw in one quick suggestion okay why is there not a one click speed up right like if i want to speed up this training for 20 hours i have to go in here and i have to click the three hours then i have to click the 60 minutes and then i have to like why what the hell are you serious there should just be one button that says speed this up using the fewest amount of speed ups right it just it just there's games like rise of kingdoms like infinity kingdom for example does this where if you want to speed up your troops all at once you just press one button it just makes sense dude i don't get it it's crazy anyway guys if you saw any suggestions here in this video that you want to see in the game make sure you go in the description where there will be a link maybe it'll be in a pinned comment as well where i will link the specific discord channel so that way you guys can go in there and start to upvote some of the things that you want to see there's only one way that we're gonna get lilith to make this game into a game that we enjoy even more than we already do and that's by making your voices heard that's by voting on other 
suggestions that you think are good and again consolidate down these suggestions to just one person with the suggestion and everyone rallies around them so that we lilith knows that they want it, that we want this because it'll reach that 100 upvote threshold like the video if you found it useful or informative or anything like that it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff as well as a link down below to download rise of kingdoms for your pc it's free it's a program called blue stacks it's my favorite way to play and downloading with my link is a free way to support the channel and of course if you don't like it you can always uninstall it later with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace